What's good guys, Kribobot here. Today I have the top 16 list from the Remote Duel Extravaganza. This is from uh, Ryan Levine and Asala, the Duelist Academy team. Uh, they played Zodiac Eldlick. Um, so I found this deck is pretty interesting. Like Being able to have like a grind game aspect to it and be able to stem Zeus and do some OTKs, I really like it, and it's also able to go second really well, even though it's a trap deck, which I also really like. So, uh, I guess let's just get into it. Uh, 3 Ash, 2 Lord, 3 Nib, 3 Ram, one throw away, 1 Wolf Tail. Although, uh, I didn't put Theory into this list, as it's their list, um, I do know a bit about this deck, and I can explain like some of these ratios, from at least from my perspective. So, uh, I basically... The, the Zodiac that you want to draw is Ram Ram, due to it having uh, a solid amount of defense, uh, as well as uh, its ability to be able to de detach material to stop an impermanence. Um, and these two are more for just utility and just being like names and um, like the draw effect and the equip effect, it's like the utility aspect. And because uh, you don't really want to break, you don't really want to draw more than one zoo, maybe a second one for the next turn. Uh, two Lord. I was playing one, and uh, I think they went with two, as I went with two in the end as well for my list, is because the problem is Ice Dragon's Prison, Call by the Grave, and um, Shen Shen. There's something to say with the Banish. Um, so even if you might not want to draw this turn one, uh, it's fine. You can also just pitch it off drop, which case scenario, just hold it for the next turn. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good card in general, though. Uh, and then Ash and Nibiru, just powerful hand traps. Three book. So, Isala also played this in his list at the New York Comic Con event, and I'm honestly, I'm like, I'm undecided about this card. I think that it has it has some really good aspects, like being able to just like stop in a gate going second, um, like book a Boral Savage, or I don't know, like book. Um, or in going first, it can stop some turns, like especially against like Dragon Link or Virtual World. Sometimes just being able to book and then just win is really good. But on the other hand, I feel like it could also just be other cards that do similar things, um, and maybe have some more potential to shop decks like Infernoble. Uh, like for example, maybe uh, Gammas or Veilers or stuff like that. But uh. Um, it worked for them, and uh, I'm definitely going to be testing this card out. It seems really cool. Uh, Book's been a staple card for over a decade. For I should, Yeah, so yeah, there's a there's reason why it's in this deck. Uh, um, three Cosmic. So, Cosmic. This card is also really also really good. Unfortunately, it's not really great against um, uh, Infernoble, but it can hit like the combo decks as well. Like, that's what's cool about this card, is that it can hit, like, Virtual World and Dragon Link. Just stopping a Chooch or, like, hitting a Divine Lens means that, like, Cosmic, uh, even though it's, like, a back removal card, it's able to just have uh, different applications or different matchups. So I can understand why they wanted this as a 3 in the deck. 3 Eldland, 3 Techie, these are just obvious searchers. Uh, three droplet. This is also, I think, this is like a nice going second card. I feel like what's cool about this is that you're able to send dead, uh, tankies and you're able to send Eldland. Because with Eldland, you want to send it to the graveyard because you want to, uh, add Conk, send it, send a Hawk or a Conk, and then you have your Conk access with a Lord, and then you have both of your, uh, both your Elixir and Golden Land engine set up. So I think droplet can also just help with that and, uh, make sure that you can break some boards as well. Then uh, Barrage, because it's broken, uh, Triple Conk, uh, Triple Sanguine, Double Hawk, and Triple Imperm. Uh, for the side deck, Double Alpha, th again, this card is just reasonable, it's like, and Pank, like, they're basically are very similar cards. I think, I think, like, and you see with the Kaijus as well, I think they went for, like, more of a, a focus on being able to break their board, because if, if they can get rid of, like, negates and stuff, like, especially against, like, Dragon Link, and just summon a Zeus, uh, you're just probably winning that game. Uh, three Token Collector for Infernoble, I assume. It's the only matchup it's good against, uh, and it's pretty good in that matchup. Mistaken Arrest, okay. When I saw this card, I was very... It, 
really intrigued me. And when I thought about it more, I'm like, okay, it's going to get, it's okay against Infernoble, but it's really good against Dragon Link and Virtual World. So I think this being, like, this card's just nice in general. Uh, in three different dimension grand, this card is just game against the combo deck. So uh, I think this is really cool. Um, something that I would consider, because I, I might, I might, I'm probably going to start playing this deck, because I, I really, I really like this build. But um, I feel like this card is just so powerful, and it does, and, like, I'd rather have this, which is a turn stopper, some, like, 100% of the time, than maybe, like, a mistake in a rest, which could be swap, maybe, so maybe you can swap that in for, like, a trap trick, I was thinking. Um, but I, I'm going to test it out. Uh, it seems really cool. Uh, for the extra deck, the extra deck's really standard. Two Zeus, two Boar, two Chalk, one Dryden, one Kong, one Mortar, uh, Asa, uh, Barricade, Phoenix, Unicorn, and Link Spider. Uh, anyways, this is a profile. Uh, huge shout out to, uh, uh, two shout outs to Duelist Academy. This is their list. Uh, I'm in their Discord. It is a great, uh, server. Uh, lots of information there. Um, uh, go go check them out. They have a Patreon where you can sub at different levels, uh, and depending on like how much you want, you, you can invest like I think the lowest is like five dollars for access to tournaments, and um, like you get your money back with the tournaments. It's just free weekly tournaments for boxes, um, and then you get, you're able to talk to some of the the best minds in the game. They're all like really, they're all really like, most are like really active, and so if you have any questions about your deck or something. Uh, you can just ask questions, or if you really want them to look at your deck and approve it, there's like deck doggers and stuff. So, um, there's that too. Anyways, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and, uh, shout outs to my sponsor, uh, Game Nation. Uh, please go check them out at whitejoemarket.com or check them on TCG Player at Fat Panda Cards. Uh, and this is Creep of Lords. Signing out. Peace.